Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, we are going to be doing, or me, I guess, um, <laughs> we're going to do an art experiment where I am going to do um, <clears throat> more of a straight pour into some flow troll and water as my base versus using paint as my base. And I am going to spin it out just to see what happens. So that's kind of what I do. I play around in paint and I am grateful that you all have joined me. <clears throat> if you're new to the channel and enjoy the vibe and want to join a little creative artist tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe, click the notification bell, and that'll let you know when I go live with just me or one of my awesome artsy friends. And we always have shenanigans here. We always have fun. And I love doing experiments. So we're going to see what happens tonight. But first, let me say hello to those in... Well, if you're watching on a phone, it's chat is over here. If you're watching on a desktop, chat is over here. But I want to say hello to all my wonderful, awesome friends that are in chat tonight. And if you are lurking out there, please just say hi. We will welcome you with open and warm hugs, you know, virtual hugs. Nothing, you know, we've got to watch out for that whole virus thing. So anyway, <laughs> let's say hello. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling to hel hello, Cheryl. Yes. Hello, everyone. And welcome to Tisha's Monday Night Experience in Art. I hope that everyone had a wonderful 4th of July holiday. And yes, I do too. Fourth of July is my daughter's birthday and Independence Day in that order in my heart. So, hello, Lady Miss. Good to see you here. Hello, Brenda from Creations by Baby Doll. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And my little brother, Trey, is here. Hello, hello, ta da! And Doris. Awesome to see you all. So awesome, so awesome. And Amber is here. Yay! And my cookie is here as well. Hello, and Mrs. Mac, hello, hello. Oh, so awesome to see all of you. I am so excited for tonight because I love doing experiments and playing in paint. If you know me at all, which you probably don't, because if you're new here, you don't. But if you know me, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I'm all about shenanigans and trying weird stuff. So, hello, Monica. Welcome, welcome to the channel. So awesome to see you. And 619 WWE fans, so wonderful you could make it tonight. I hope you're enduring the heat up there in Canada. Ugh, it's been, it's actually the first day that it didn't break 90 degrees. So here in Minnesota. So, you know, I'm kind of grateful for that. So. Do, 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 do. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> okay, so y'all know, well, if you're not new, if you're new to the channel, you don't know, but I use StreamYard and StreamYard <clears throat> is kind of laggy in the chat. So if I if I'm behind, I apologize. And there's my darling dear Michael Sean Carter. Hello, my love. Good to see you tonight. Okay, yes. Hello, brother. Yes, we are all family here. We are all one tribe and we have a lot of fun doing the art thing. So tonight I am using primary colors, which, okay, I'm going to tell you a little story. <laughs> Just a little one, quick. Um, I was having, I, I went to um, Home Depot, which I don't like to do, but I did. I was in, in a on a quest for Floetrol. And found out that they don't carry the gallons of Floetrol anymore at the at the Home Depot that I go to. And I was really kind of perturbed about that. But as I was walking down the paint aisle, this mom was talking to her daughter and trying to tell her that there are seven 
primary colors. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the show. As far as I know it, there are three artistic primary colors and three like photography, graphic design type primary colors. They're two totally different things. They're two totally, two totally different spectrums because you're working in different mediums. Primary colors, as I was taught in art, in physical form, are red, blue, and yellow, okay? And for graphic design and computer type things and lighting and all that stuff, it's cyan, magenta, and yellow. So I was like, whoa, lady. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just walked on by and kept my little redheaded mouth shut. But in my head, I was like, yeah, I'm not happy. So tonight I'm going to be using Windsor & Newton Cadmium Red that is mixed with a pouring medium um, and Floetrol and paint. And then I have DecoArt 24 karat gold. I have some metallic um, blue from Artist Loft <coughs> because... I want this to be sparkly, and because I want this to be sparkly, I'm using my iridescent white, which is a mixture of Floetrol, titanium white, and the iridescent medium from Artist Loft. And I'm playing around with this, and so far, I like this combination so far. So, and the reason why I say that, and I'll show you in a second here, um, the last color will be cadmium yellow. Um, from Liquitex Basics that I've mixed four to one with Flow Chalk. So the reason why I like it, and I'm going to show you one of these. Um, I've been working on these picture frames. So if you've been following me at all for any amount of time, you know that my favorite podcast of all time is Gadget Cast. And the boys over on Gadget Cast, Travis and Greg, cancel Greg. Um, have been wonderful to me and they're awesome and supportive and wonderful and i've learned a lot from watching their live stream podcast on youtube but i <laughs> i want a pair of uh um soundcore q10 q10 headphones and <laughs> greg being greg sent me a picture so i've been working on some picture frames to put said picture in this is not the one that i'm going to be using for my project but this is one and i don't know if you can see i'm trying to get it to work um if you can see how iridescent that white is and how it pops um with the gold um it's really fun. So this is one of the, I, I poured three because I wasn't sure how they were going to turn out. But this one, there will be an upcoming video for these. So yeah, so much fun. Michael's was my source for the picture frames because I don't have a router to make my own. But that will be changing shortly, I hope. Anyway, so let's get a cup ready. And as we shake up, <laughs> yes, those headphones are awesome. I was jamming out. Oh my God, I was jamming out. Well, hello, Miss Clara. Good to see you. And Jeff B, how awesome for you to join us. <laughs> and yes, Michael, cancel Greg. <laughs> I love Greg, don't get me wrong. He is the second best YouTuber. <laughs> and Sue is here as well. Yay! Awesome, awesome. Let's see, did I miss anybody else? If I miss you, I do apologize. Um, I can only scroll back so far. And well, hello, DD Art Gallery. So wonderful to see you here tonight. Do 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 scrolling back. And Paul Ogilvy. Oh, oh, wait, that's not Ogilvy. I pronounce, mispronounced your name. I apologize. I am very, I try to be so good about pronouncing names. But Paul, wonderful to see you. Okay, so I'm going to shake this up. And don't mind me, I'm a little sweaty and <laughs> a little warm because it's still like 85 degrees in my apartment. So I shook these up earlier before the live. 
but pretty good fourth. My kiddo was disappointed that there were no fireworks, though. So, oh, she should have came here. We had fireworks till 2 a.m. I am not joking. Ugh. I have a love-hate relationship with my neighbors. Mostly hate. I love to hate them. I, that sounds so mean. I don't mean to say that. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of regular white in this, too. So, oh, there we go. Yay, my hands decided to work. I'm going to put just a little bit of regular white just at the bottom. Okay, just a little bit at the bottom. It's I, I kind of use the white as, as more of a lube than anything else, just so I can get most of the paint out of the cup. So you can see I'm just kind of rolling around in there. What is Erica from ATD says, greasing the pan, I'm greasing the cup. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit of this. And we only want this about half full because I'm only using an 8x10 canvas tonight. So I'm going to see how this goes. Oh. Hey, I'm doing things left-handed. That's awesome. We're just going to kind of layer it in there. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a straight pour more than anything else. <laughs> yes, you. when you're opening jars, you have to do the sound effect. Oh, no, Blano. There we go. Almost had a... I'm going to float this blue on top. There we go. And I want it because I'm filling the blue on top because I don't want the the red and the white to mix together so much because I don't want pink. Nothing against pink. If you love pink, I applaud you. I am not a fan. My mother used to make me wear pink and I hated it. My favorite thing when I was younger, I had a purple velvet dress and I absolutely loved it. It was my favorite thing. I wore it until I could not wear it no more. All right, so we're just gonna do the red, blue, and yellow with some gold and some iridescent white. There we go. Oh, here we go. Come on. There we go. And since I'm going to be spinning this, I'm going to line these up and protect my cheese curds because <laughs> I was snacking on cheese curds and my keyboard from overspray. Put that aside. I'm going to bring out the canvas here. This is just a little 8 by 10 and you can find these on my wish list if you would like to buy them for yourself or if you would like to purchase and help a girl out. If you'd like to purchase some for me, you are welcome to do so. I would be grateful, eternally grateful. There we go. This is still kind of wobbly. Hang on. We're going to put this underneath here just like that. Maybe. Hang on. We're going to get a piece of tape too. Erp. Hold on. Kind of set this up in the heat of the moment. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I hate the DMV. <laughs> I hated it pre-virus, and I hate it even more post-virus. It's just, yeah, I'm a little flustered tonight. I'm hot. I'm sticky. It's humid. <laughs> I just... I would say I want to go home and go to bed, but I already am home and I can't go to bed because I'll have a little kitten. Uh, Rhea, my kitten, is, what is she now, 15 weeks? And she wants to cuddle, and I'm like, honey, you're covered in fur. <laughs> no, sweat and fur is not a good thing. So, well, hello, Dina. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, yes, cheese curds. Hey, okay. So up here we have Quick Trip, and they have white cheddar cheese curds, and they are the bomb. So <laughs> I have been working on how to fry them up, kind of like the they do at the state fair. That's why I have like three packages in my refrigerator. <laughs> but this is the second package that I did. <laughs> Whoa!
what's this going on here, Miss Cheryl? Deb, please do seriously consider it. I've been meaning to drop your note about it. You will have lots of fun. Everyone here is supportive. Doesn't matter what type. Nope. Doesn't matter what type of art you do. And you will be finding that out in upcoming Tish Talks and Artapaloozas. I, you know, I don't care what kind of art you create. I mean, Trey does comic books and he supports the, the um, uh, fan based movies and stuff and he, and and I love him to death for doing that um I just you know anything that's creative I want you on my channel I want you to speak your voice so that's why I'm here yes cheese curds and anything food if you want to talk food I'm all ears okay so what we're going to be using tonight for a pouring medium is um my flow troll and water mix so what I do is I take Floetrol and fill it halfway full, which is about five ounces. And then I take water that I have used in my empty empty Floetrol bottles. I take about a pound of water, put it in a gallon-sized container, and shake it, shake it, shake it out. And I do that for, you know, four or five, six containers. And then I strain it, and that way I know that I'm, you know, getting all the Floetrol that I can. And I use that as my water. Um, the reason why I started doing this is because I was no, noticing cracking and crazing in my paints because if, if you go above 20 to 30 percent water content in your pores, it can cause that. Can. Doesn't say it will. Just saying it can. And the way I look at it is every way that you can help it not happen is a good thing. So I am going to use this. We're just going to put bunch of this down okay and I probably could have taken the lid off but I'm being me <laughs> I'm just gonna squeegee it out here so we're gonna use this as our puddle for our pour well thank you Trey for the donation I appreciate you you are awesome especially for one's little brother and no we are not biologically related we are just attached at the soul so he is my little brother, though, because he's younger than me. He calls me his little sister. I'm like, dude, I'm older than you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting a little bit down. We're going to swoon it out a little bit. Let's do a little bit more. Let's get it to go over the edge so we promote the paint to go over the edge because I know I have more than enough paint to go over the edge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a straight pour. Maybe it'll wiggle a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing this tonight is because I wanted to know if I could save myself some paint by not using a base coat so much as water. I mean, this is mostly water. And Floetrol, I mean, I buy Floetrol by the gallon for, I think it's like $13.55 or something like that, a gallon. So, um, some people pour out of where they layered from some people pour out of the side I'm going to pour from where I layered from and we're just going to do a straight pour and I'm going to turn this slowly Okay, so we're getting to the bottom of the cup because we're getting to that white. So I am going to stop it right about now. Okay, so we're going to fix that little tail that we have there, and that's fine. Because we're going to take skewer here and we're just going to kind of bring it on through I'm going almost to the bottom there we go <clears throat> so I go down to the canvas and I bring it up just a smidge because it's just a tish off so there we go 
Yeah, is my autofocus on? Yeah, probably. Did I flub that up? See, I start my restart my conf, I restart my computer before every live because that way I'm not using utilizing resources that why is this not coming up? Hang on a second. Configure video. Hello. Why are you not letting me do this? Okay, it's not letting me configure video. All right. Hello, Jay. Good to see you. Oh, and hello, Mike. Good to see you as well. Yeah, I have my... I... Oh, thunderstorms. Whoop. Thunderstorms are in the forecast for tonight. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm hoping that I can, well, I don't know what is going on with this. So we're just going to flow with it. I apologize for the auto, auto correct, auto start, auto focus. There we go. Auto correct and auto focus are both the banes of my existence. Okay, here we go. We are going to. Hmm, I'm going to leave this one. So, flip that into another cup. All right, here we go. Ready? We're going to flip. We're going to spin this. And it is kind of off kilter on the thing because I just kind of slapped it down. I know that sounds awful, but here we go. All right, so let's do one more spin. We're going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. Come on, let go. There we go. I think we're going to tip it. Just a little bit. Because I want to even that out. There we go. All right. I wanted to even out this little section right here. It just looked like it was being kind of wonky. Ooh. Why are you still online, Jeff? <laughs> okay, so we're going to torch this real quick. The torch is used just to pop some air bubbles, which air bubbles help create cells. I do not use silicone in the majority of my paints. Every once in a while, it'll tickle my fancy. But... As you can see, we don't need we don't need no stinking silicone. <laughs> and this is what we got, y'all. So let's bring this up. And I'm grateful that the autofocus didn't decided not to turn off. Cause you know, come on, baby. Come on. Talk sweetly to the camera. There we go. Maybe. Hello. Okay, maybe. I need to do this hello there we go there we go see we got cells we got lacing we got freckles we got sparkly gold that's so awesome a little bit of yellow lots of blue and and this is why i pour with thicker paint it's because you can see there's no blotchy craziness going on here. Look at that, how the gold picked up the red. Oh, that's sexy right there. So I'm thinking I'm going to play around with this Floetrol on water base a little bit more because it's spread out very well and gave me the effects that I wanted and kept the colors true. And didn't I didn't get a lot of pink. I did get some pink through the middle here, like right here, which I'm okay with. You know, that's what happens when you mix white and red. You get pink, boo, pink. And I don't, part of the reason why I wanted to do 
This is because the Flutron water dries so much faster than paint. And this whole mess is usually a mess. And that's why I haven't moved it. But I'm thinking, I'm also thinking I want to do some cabochons on there. So some of the um, background comes in because I have an idea for cabochons. And I will share them in an upcoming experiments in art with y'all. But look at all this cool stuff that's coming up here. And I'm thinking I like this orientation the best. So let me know what you think. Um, if you're watching this on replay, be sure to smash that like button and share this video out. Um, leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you think of my experiments. Or if you have any experiments you'd like me to try, please leave that down in the comments below. If you have some colors or some mediums that you would like me to play with and just don't have the time to do so, I do have an Amazon wish list down in the description box below. Send me some stuff and I'll be more than happy to play and paint for you. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, Doris from DF Designs goes live on her channel. Um, Trey is actually going live on his channel here quite shortly at 8 p.m. Um, not sure his what exactly tonight is. I didn't write it down, so I apologize, Trey. Um, moderators, please feel free to link any links that you have available to those two wonderful creators. I will be joining you live tomorrow night at 7 p.m., um, for Tish Talk, which we're going to kind of go back to the original kind of format that I had for it. Um, no interview tomorrow, but I do have one, a couple of them coming up in the month of July. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and just so you know, I did change the way I do my live streams. It'll be 7 o'clock 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time or Daylight Savings Time or whatever. It's central, seven o'clock central <laughs> every night of the week, except for Sunday night. I don't go live. And Thursday morning, I do coffees with Tish. So if you are a beginner and you have questions and questions about your YouTube channel, questions about anything art related that I have an expertise in, let me know and I will be more than happy to answer your questions because that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for is to help you grow and expand and find your voice. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Please share this out. It helps my channel grow. It helps in turn helps you grow. I appreciate though. I appreciate you though. Thank you so much. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.